Cases upon cases, one after the other, being dismissed in an El Paso County courtroom today and even more expected to be dropped later this week. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Natasia Paloma. Some of these cases involve misdemeanor charges and some even criminal. But tonight, the district attorney with an explanation. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxer joins us in the newsroom. And Carla, how is it that so many of these cases had to be dropped? It's quite a large number of the cases, but the story gets a little bit more complicated. I spoke to the chief public defender who tells me that these are not cases that are being dismissed. It's accusations that have not even been made into cases, which means that no ch official charges have been pressed after 180 days of the person's arrest, which means that it's breaking a Texas statute. 98 cases dropped by the El Paso Public Defender's Office and the jail magistrate, with a total of 435 filed for dismissal, according to Chief Public Defender. But why is this happening? Normally, a person with criminal accusations is put in custody, and for most cases, the judge sets a bond, according to Chief Public Defender Kelly Childress Diaz. This is where Texas Statute 32.01 comes in play. The district attorney's office then has 180 days from the person's arrest to form an indictment and press charges. Otherwise, the bond conditions are taken off. But the cases that were dismissed today were already three to 400 days late. One of them, Chief Public Defender, says almost a thousand days, which can be considered oppressive for the defendant. District Attorney Von Rosales's office sending out a statement saying the actions taken by the Public Defender's office in conjunction with the jail magistrate Umberto Acosta are unprecedented, but not unique. Further explaining, many DA's offices across the state and the nation are facing a backlog of cases because of COVID. Another reason DA's office says is that most of the dismissed cases were not submitted through DIMS, a software used for court cases management relating to drugs. The agreement to utilize the software took from July of last year until this January to finalize. The DA's office saying this caused a spike in filed cases. The chief public defender says most of the dismissals are misdemeanors though there are some more serious cases such as injury to a child, family violence and drug related felonies. And as I mentioned, the chief public defender's office did file 435 more cases for dismissal. That means these hearings will proceed up until the end of this week. Back to you. Yeah, and Carla, what happens with these cases now after they've been dismissed? Can they still be prosecuted? Yes, Andy, actually they can. So the DA's office tells me they can still indict and press charges under the statute of limitations, which gives them about two to 10 years for most cases. But the public defender tells me even if this does happen, the judge may still end up dismissing the case because it just took so long to even bring the defendant to court. Back to you. A good breakdown there from our Carla Draxler reporting live in the newsroom for us tonight. Carla, thank you.